Okay, great. Eight. So today you're going to be working on fusion and you are going to be creating a model of your clock design. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, allow you to use this clock mechanism that I've already created. Um, as you can see, the, the hands, second hand, hour hand and minute hand all move as intended. Um, and it's a really accurate representation of the mechanism that you guys will be using. Um, so. In order for you to get this file onto your computers, you need to first of all download it from Google Drive. And make sure you do it in the exact same way that I do. So I've shared this clock mechanism with you. If you go to Shared with me, you should see this icon and it should say Clock Mechanism. First step is to right click and then download that file to your hard drive. Once it's downloaded, do not try and open it. If you double click this, the computer will just get confused because it doesn't understand what that file type is. So do not double click it. Instead, go to Fusion, go to your data panel, which is the squares at the top left, and then go back to the start. Uh, and this is all your projects that you've worked on in the past, if you've made projects, that is. Some of you may not have any projects. But what I would like you to do today is click New Project, call the new project Clocks. I'm going to call it Clocks 2 because I already have a Clocks here, as you can see from yesterday's demonstration. Once you've created this project, you can double click on it to open the project and it should be empty. There, there will be no files in there. So if I double click, you can see nothing there. Um, and what we're going to do is upload the file that we have just downloaded. So click on clock mechanism, click on open. Make sure you move this bar up and then say upload. It's not a huge file, so it shouldn't take very long. However, you will still need to wait. I'm going to say close and when it's finished, it'll appear here. Let's just close this one. So there it is, it's downloaded and I'm just going to double click it to open the mechanism. And once it opens, you will see it appear on the screen here. Like so. Now you can close your data panel, this one here, because we do not need it anymore. And it means we have a bigger screen area. I'll move my browser bar back to where it should be. And then we can use the orbit tool, which is at the bottom here, and we can look at this mechanism and just get a feel for how it's going to work. Um, if you try and move anything now, it should still work as intended. Yeah, you can see these hands swing around. So what are we gonna do today? We need to start by creating your back plate. Um, and the back plate rests on this rubber pad that you can see right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create another new component. We can see on the left here, these are components that make up the mechanism. So the mechanism is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven components, excluding any internal components, all the gears and cogs. I haven't done those for obvious reasons, um, but the external stuff is all done. So what we're going to do is create the back plate. And to do this, we're going to first of all click on Create New Component. When this box pops up, we're going to call the new component backplate so we know which one it is, and we're just going to click OK. Notice how the rest of the clock goes transparent at this point. Um, and now what we need to do is draw, do a sketch on this surface because the backplate is going to touch this rubber pad. So we're going to click on Sketch, and then there's different options for depending on what shape your backplate is. If your backplate is square or rectangular, then choose this center rectangle. Okay, make sure you choose center rectangle. So click center rectangle. If it asks you about this moving components, just say capture position. And then it's important that we pick the right surface. We don't want to sketch on the surface of the clock mechanism or the side. We don't want to sketch on the hands. We want to make sure we are sketching on this surface here. So we click that, it should rotate round. And then because this is a center point square, Click on the center point of the mechanism and then draw your square. Now the piece of wood that you guys will be given is 245 millimeters. So I've written 245 in the box on the left. And then if we hit the tab key on the keyboard, notice how we can jump from one to the other. So I'm going to skip to this other one and write 245 and then hit return. And that gives me a square shape. Okay, you can see how I've done that. The next part of this is um, to say stop sketch and then create an extrusion and we're going to extrude that and we actually need to come in as well because it's 
not selected this part. So we're going to select both of these parts and the thickness of the plywood we are using is 6.3 millimeters. So we type that number in and say OK and that gives us our back plate. And as you can see, the back plate is sort of sandwiched in between the mechanism and the hands. OK, so there is my back plate a simple square shape. What I'm going to do now is activate the whole model. So in the modeling tree, this is the, the whole model. So I click activate and now you can see everything's come back in. You can see the clock mechanism again. It's not transparent anymore. But um, I'm going to demonstrate creating another back plate for you so that you can see how to do different shapes. So I'm just going to turn this one off temporarily. You can see the light bulb turns the different components on and off. So starting again, create new component back plate to say OK sketch create sketch on the pad this time I'm going to do a circle so I'm going to use a center point diameter circle starting in the middle and I'm going to zoom in to make sure I get the middle then I'm going to set the diameter it cannot be any bigger than 245 I'm going to make it 240 and I'm going to hit return and then I'm going to say stop sketch I'm going to angle it slightly, it's always good to change the angle before you do your extrusion. Click extrude, click both of those profiles and the thickness as you will remember is 6.3, say OK. So there's my second back plate created. Again activate the whole model and this time I'm going to right click my mouse, choose appearance and I'm going to look in the wood solid folder at pine. There should be one there called pine somewhere. There it is there. So I just drag that onto the material and now you can see it looks like wood. So repeating the process once more. And if you're happy with this process, then please feel free to stop the video and move on. Um, create new component, back plate three, Say OK, sketch, this time I'm going to go for polygon and I'm going to go for this one, circumscribed polygon, polygon, click on the pad, click the center and this time as you can see I've got a hexagon but I can change, if I press tab and change into the um, the number, the, the box with the number 6 in it, I can change the number of sides so now you can see that's a three sided shape four-sided as a square, five-sided, whatever you want, okay? So you can pick the number of sides, click OK, and then just remember that your piece of material is 245 by 245, so we cannot have it any bigger. So what I'm going to do is just pick the maximum sides here and here. Um, let's just, sh sh let me just show you that again. If I go to the dimension, sketch dimension, click one side, click the other, like that then I should be able to oh, it's not working one two no maybe just go from here to here two two oh and then let's just check with drawing a line to make sure that's not too long as you can see that's 254 so that back plate would be too big as it goes over the side so I'm just going to change this 220 dimension to 200 click OK use the line tool again so that's the maximum point there is 230 which means it would come with inside, inside the, the constraint size and it would work So now what I'm going to do is say create extrude click 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 6.3 done. Once you've got your back plate finished, um, you can go ahead and start adding new components for the pieces of acrylic that you want to put onto your design. So again, create new component, acrylic one, say OK, sketch, choose whatever shape you think you need to, to match the design that you've come up with, say OK, stop sketch, create extrude, the thickness of the acrylic is 4 and then again if we activate everything right click appearance we can put the pine into here and then you should be able to find some colors to match the colors of your acrylic okay 
see how you get on with that.